Step back into 1965 and discover the charm of what's new Pussycat, a film that effortlessly weaves comedy and romance. Directed by Clive Donner, this classic holds a timeless appeal with its engaging storyline and memorable characters. As you revisit this cinematic gem, consider this. Is there a particular scene or moment in this movie that has had a lasting impact on you? Now, let's dive into the heart of the film. The narrative revolves around Michael James, played by Peter O'Toole, a writer entangled in a web of romantic misadventures. The star-studded cast, including Peter Sellers and Woody Allen, adds a delightful touch to the comedic escapades that unfold. The film's witty dialogue and comedic timing have secured its place in the annals of cinematic history. But here's the intriguing part. Do you have a cherished memory or personal experience related to what's new, Pussycat? Perhaps a scene that made you burst into laughter or a moment that stayed with you over the years. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We would love to hear them. Now, for a quick backstage pass to the film, did you know that Woody Allen, originally cast solely as the screenwriter, ended up playing a key role in front of the camera. It's one of those interesting tidbits that adds an extra layer of fascination to the movie. So, what's your tale connected to this cinematic gem? Your thoughts and experiences are an integral part of the cinematic journey. Share them below and let's celebrate the enduring magic of What's New Pussycat. What's New Pussycat is a 1965 comedy film that marked the directorial debut of Clive Donner and featured a screenplay co-written by Woody Allen. The film unfolds as a zany romantic comedy centered around the character Michael James, played by Peter O'Toole, a neurotic writer seeking psychiatric help to overcome his womanizing ways. Despite his commitment to his fiancée Carol, portrayed by Romy Schneider, Michael finds himself entangled in a series of hilarious misadventures with a bevy of eccentric characters, including the seductive and enigmatic Rita, played by Capucine. The narrative is propelled by Alan's signature wit, blending slapstick humor with clever dialogue, creating a comedic cocktail that resonated with audiences. The film's success lies not only in its sharp script and charismatic performances, but also in its infusion of the swinging 60 seconds zeitgeist, captured through vibrant visuals and a lively soundtrack. What's New Pussycat has left an indelible mark on popular culture, showcasing Alan's early comedic genius and contributing to the era's cinematic landscape with its unique blend of romance, humor, and a dash of absurdity. In What's New Pussycat, the Art Nouveau house featured in the film was designed by Hector Gimard, the same architect behind the iconic Paris metro stations. Interestingly, this architectural gem met its demise just four years after the movie's release. Adding another layer to the film, Capucine, who portrayed the seductive Rita, was not a stranger to the screen chemistry. She played the lover of Peter Sellers in the movie, and their connection extended from the screen to real life, having been husband and wife in The Pink Panther. A nugget of trivia about the movie involves Woody Allen, who, dissatisfied with his initial low payment of $30,000 for the screenplay, ingeniously crafted a solution. Seizing the opportunity, he wrote himself a role in the film, ensuring a more satisfying involvement in the project. These behind-the-scenes details provide a fascinating backdrop to the zany romantic comedy that is what's new Pussycat, offering a glimpse into the intricacies of the film's production. From the demolition of a unique architectural piece to the intertwining relationships among the cast, these facets contribute to the movie's allure and enduring legacy. In conclusion, the 1965 movie What's New Pussycat, beyond its on-screen hilarity, is a tapestry woven with intriguing anecdotes, including architectural splendor, real-life connections, and strategic moves by its contributors. In What's New Pussycat, one noteworthy aspect is the resilience of star Peter Sellers. While delivering a comedic performance, Sellers was recuperating from a recent heart attack, demonstrating his dedication to the film. In a peculiar twist, the car driven by Michael James adds a touch of vintage charm to the narrative and exquisite British light blue circa 1934-1937 singer Nine Le Mans special speed model convertible sports car. This choice of automobile reflects the attention to detail in capturing the era's essence. Moreover, a spontaneous moment in the film adds an interesting layer. 
Dr. Fassbender's line about Rita knowing James Bond wasn't scripted. It was an ad lib by Peter Sellers. This unplanned remark takes on added significance as Ursula Andress, who plays Rita, had herself portrayed Honey Rider in the inaugural James Bond film, Dr. No. The resulting laughter from Andress adds a genuine, unscripted element to the scene, enriching the film with an unexpected connection to the iconic spy series. These behind-the-scenes tidbits shed light on the challenges faced by the cast, the careful selection of period-specific props, and the spontaneous moments that contribute to the film's authenticity. What's New Pussycat not only entertains with its on-screen humor but also carries a hidden layer of dedication and improvisation that enhances its overall appeal. Chosen by Samuel L. Jackson is the film that influenced him most for FI's private screenings. What's New Pussycat holds a unique place in cinematic history. The 1965 comedy, directed by Clive Donner, not only left its mark on audiences, but also left an indelible impression on the acclaimed actor Samuel L. Jackson. The movie, part of a cycle of films with Pussycat in the title during the mid-1960s to early 1970s, stood out enough for Jackson to consider it a significant influence. This recognition adds another layer to the film's legacy, showcasing its impact beyond the screen. Jackson's acknowledgement underscores the enduring appeal and cultural significance of what's new Pussycat, making it a noteworthy piece in the world of cinema. Delving into the film's influence on Samuel L. Jackson, known for his iconic roles in various genres, provides a fresh perspective on the movie. As audiences revisit this classic comedy, they can now appreciate its impact not only on the era it represents, but also on one of Hollywood's most celebrated actors. And here's an interesting tidbit. The scene featuring Victor Skakapopulize celebrating his 29th birthday on the wharf was filmed on December 1st, 1964, which happens to be Alan's actual 29th birthday. This touch of authenticity adds a charming detail to the film, showcasing the filmmaker's commitment to capturing genuine moments on screen. In conclusion, the 1965 movie What's New Pussycat, selected by Samuel L. Jackson as a major influence, offers a captivating journey into the world of comedy and its enduring impact on both audiences and influential figures in the industry. As the curtains draw to a close on our journey through the cinematic time capsule that is What's New Pussycat, take a moment to let the echoes of laughter, romance, and sheer eccentricity linger in the chambers of your mind. This film, a kaleidoscopic blend of wit and charm, has carved its place in the annals of movie history. Now, dear reader, it's your turn to step into the spotlight. What resonated with you in this cinematic masterpiece? Was it the zany escapades, the unforgettable characters, or perhaps the pulsating energy of the swinging 60 seconds? Whatever it may be, your thoughts weave into the rich tapestry of collective cinematic experience. Share your musings, relive those delightful moments, and let the memories of what's new Pussycat weave a tapestry of nostalgia. Maybe it's a clandestine chuckle during a clandestine rendezvous, or perhaps a moment of introspection inspired by the character's pursuit of love. Your connection is the missing piece, completing the puzzle of this timeless classic. In the realm of cinema, our individual experiences transform into a communal celebration. So, let the comments section below be the stage where you unveil your personal connection with this cinematic gem. From anecdotes to reflections, every contribution adds a layer to the shared experience. Thank you for embarking on this journey through time with us. Your presence and engagement elevate the discourse around the magic of what's new Pussycat. Until our paths cross again in the realm of storytelling, cherish those cinematic memories and keep the spirit of curiosity alive. Warm regards and heartfelt thanks for your time and interest.